hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to take a picture from this coloring book. I found this on Amazon. It's 100 mandala drawings. Stress relieving mandala designs or mandala designs for adult relaxation. It's like a porno or something. <laughs> adult relaxation. Kids could do these. They're not that hard. Okay. So I've already selected a picture. Look, it has a gold seal that indicates absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> it looks like a fancy bottle cap. I don't even know why they put that on there. Okay. So I selected a picture. I picked this one. This one is really cool. It, um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, those spirograph drawings. In a way, it kind of reminds me of those. I used to love doing those when I was a kid. And to color this picture today, we are going to be using my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I personally use. Now, it's not expensive eyeshadow. I have had people in the past criticize me for using inexpensive eyeshadow. I don't, I don't know why, but for some reason this bothers some people and they want to criticize me for it. Um, I don't really understand that, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Now this one, I got this one in a beauty box a while ago. It's called Beauté Basics. I love this one and I find that if you have blue eyes, this is a really good color. Look at that. You can tell I've used a lot of it. This is, this is the perfect shade because it kind of goes with everything. It's called Satin Taupe. And I, I absolutely love this color. But if I, if I ever run out and, and if I'm not able to find it anymore, I have a color that's very similar in one of these other palettes. So we have that. And we have these two little, little eyeshadows here. These also came in beauty boxes. Um, I don't remember who made them and there's no, there's no name on here. This one, I put some glue under here to glue it to this so it wouldn't fall out. This one is, has a nice gold shimmer to it. And so this one is kind of a, just a nice blue eyeshadow. It's, um, it has a little bitty bit of sparkle to it, but not a lot. This one has some sort of a semi, it's like a satiny sheen to it. And I, I have no idea who made these, but they're pretty cool. Now this one I don't use a lot. This is another one that came in one of the beauty boxes, a Ciate. London. It is the Velvet Palette. Um, and this one is actually really cool. Let me see if I can open it. Sometimes it doesn't want to open properly. But look at these pretty colors. I love this. Um, we have a lot of super duper shiny ones. We have these, this sort of a pinkish color, gold, another pinkish color. We have mattes here, 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 and down here. And the rest of them, they may not look super shiny, but oh my gosh, they really are. They're super, they're super great. So that is from Seattle, London. And those are really great if I want a little bit of shine, but these are the ones that I use the most from LA Colors, and you can find these at Walmart and Dollar General. This one I think I actually bought on eBay for some, I don't know why, but they're very inexpensive. These palettes, I keep coming back to these. You know, I have, I can get more expensive ones, but I keep coming back to these. So we have these three different combinations. This is one of my newer ones. I haven't really used it much yet. This this one and this one, I have gone through at least two of these in the past. And these are some newer ones that I bought recently to replace them. They're great. I keep coming back to these. The colors are great. 
they really last. They're very inexpensive. These things are less than $4 each. Let me see, I'll tell you the name of this one. This one is called the Glam Palette. And I love the purples in here. Look at, aren't they beautiful? We have all these purples and sort of violet colors. Um, and up here, let's see, this, this taupe is very close to that satin taupe from Beauté Basics. It's very similar when you wear it. And we have these charcoal and black colors down here. This one has a sparkle to it. I love this palette. Oh my gosh. You can keep your expensive stuff. And I have no problem with expensive stuff, but I'm telling you, these are awesome palettes. Now this one here is called, oh wait, this one is also called Glam Palette. These have different names. I was trying to see. Uh, I was trying to see if this one has a name on it. They're just both called Glam Palettes. And they have 18 colors a piece. And some of them I use more than others. Okay, so there's they're just all called glam palettes, but I do know that these have these have different names. But they're fantastic. So really these two I use the most. This one I would use more in the fall, I would say, just because of the colors in it. You have some really pretty, you have gold and you have these brick colors. Here's a dusty rose. Here's a nice copper. You know, it's just really great. These are really great little colors. And each one comes with a little, a little applicator. So yeah, these are the ones I, I use these more than any, any other palettes. And I keep coming back to these. Um, I'm not saying that other palettes are no good, but these I mean, especially these two, they have pretty much everything I need for the most part. So I thought today we would use these palettes to color this cool little picture right here. Now for this here, the satin taupe, oh, and these two actually, um, and these, I don't have any applicators right now, so I'm going to just use, I have these little swabs, these little cosmetic swabs, they have the little tip on them. I use them for doing, you know, like cleaning my nails up after I paint them. These are really great for that, so I thought we would just maybe use these to apply this stuff to the picture. So, alright, let's do it. So we have this picture here. I kind of want to start with this Ciate uh, palette. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I don't do it on purpose. So you have all of these sections that you can do in different colors. I want to try this really dark brown right here. This is a great color. This is a matte color right here. I'm going to get a little bit of this on onto the swab like that. See? Let's see how it does on here. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I messed up a little bit already. <laughs> And it's buildable. It's buildable like Bob the Builder. Buildable. Bob the Builder, that reminds me one time. My, my older son, he wanted to do his own costume for Halloween. And he was really little. I think he was in kindergarten. He might have been about five years old. And he was supposed to be some character from a TV show or something. And we went out trick-or-treating and he was so happy with his costume and some random guy just looks at him and goes, who are you, Bob the Builder? And my son got mad. He was like, Mom, I do not look like Bob the Builder. He didn't. I don't know. He looked nothing like Bob the Builder. Like, I'm sorry. I can't control what people say. He was grumpy about that the rest of the night. I do not look like Bob the Builder. He took it as an insult, like, Mom, I am not Bob the Builder. Like, like, dude, you have a bag of candy. How can you be mad right now? Just let it go. People say crazy things. 
So it's definitely not as dark on the paper. I find though that when you're applying it to your eyelid, you really have to be careful with it because your eyelid is eyelid. Your eyelid is really gonna grab that color. Oh my word. I have so done. So, yeah, these LA Colors palettes, you can find them online if you don't want to go to Walmart or Dollar General or you just don't have access to those places, you can find them on, online. Looks like they're just called LA Colors Glam palettes. And I will show you in a minute how they do. Now keep in mind that on paper, it's not going to be like, you know, using it on your on yourself because the paper is not going to grab it like your your skin will so it may not be an accurate representation because this is definitely not accurate I mean I can make it a little darker a little bit but yeah I don't think this paper was made to be decorated with eyeshadow. <laughs> it's okay. Get the little crumbs off there. We'll try metallic next. See what that looks like. This iPad, the, the texture of this eyeshadow, it's kind of like pressed cocoa powder. I don't know why, that's what it makes me think of, Chris, like pressed cocoa powder. All right, so it's very faint, but that's okay. It's all right. Let me try, let's try this gold right here. I'm going to use the other side of that swab. I'm just going to do like that, just go in a little circular pattern and put it right outside the part we just did. And right now it may not look like much. It may not look like I'm really doing anything. I am. I am not a professional makeup person. I remember a few times when I was younger where my mom would put eyeshadow on me. I remember before the Christmas pageants that we had to do in school, my mom would let me put on just a little bit of, you know, like some kind of light makeup, a little bit of light eyeshadow. And I love the feeling of her applying the product my eyelids. I thought that felt so nice. Just, you know, the gentle feel of the applicator. Just kind of doing like that over your eyelid. It was so nice. I could fall asleep with that. <laughs> it was such a nice feeling. And then I always felt so grown up with a little bit of eyeshadow. She wouldn't let me wear lipstick or foundation or anything, but she would let me put on a, a little bit of eyeshadow. For a special occasion, like when I had to do the pageants at the Christmas plays at school, not like a beauty pageant, but you know, a Chris like a Christmas play thing, where we would do the little play and they would sing songs and stuff. Okay, let's turn it up this way. Now you can see a little bit of the metallic sheen from that second coat, just on the outside of that brown, that 
light brown. That's from the palette. Let's try some. I want to do. I don't want to do. Let's look at this one. I really like this color right here. It's kind of um like a a dark teal color. And these are all messed up. I use all different sides of these applicators. I don't care. Let's see if we can add this on the next section. I think this color really hits a little better than the Ciate does. Let's see. I'm trying to decide how I want to do these little diamond shapes. I don't know. Just do. Just do it right there. It's fine. Then go to the next one. Come down this way. Look at that. That color is so nice. I think the last time I bought these and I may be wrong, I may be wrong, but I think the last time I bought these, they were f like $3.75 each or something like that. It might have been a little bit more, but I know it was less than $5 for sure. And these palettes, man, they last forever. I mean, what says you should, you should use them within 36 months? And I don't keep them for a super long time. That's another good thing about them being less expensive. You know, it's not a big deal to replace these. It's not like, you know, I hate it when I spend, you know, a significant chunk of money on some cosmetic product and then I use it maybe <laughs> one or two times and then it just sits there and I end up throwing it out. It just feels like a waste of money. And I like money. I don't like to waste it. I like money, though. <laughs> I do. Okay. I am doing this little diamond right on the- right across from it as well. I love these little drawings. I love to color these. It's just a way to kind of clear my mind and de-stress a little bit at the end of the day. Or if I just need to calm my mind and focus, doing this is a perfect way to do that. Because it's not something you have to focus super hard on, so it gives me <laughs> super hard on. Oh, my 13 year old self just laughed at that. But, uh, you don't have to focus on it intently, but you can still enjoy the outcome of it. So now we have this darker layer going around. On here it looks kind of like a dark green. It's kind of a dark teal. And that is another color that you, when you're applying it, oh my gosh. If you're applying this, either of these, you have to be very careful. Because a little bit of the color goes a long way. It is very, very highly pigmented. It's, uh, it's great stuff. Let's do another metallic. Let's see what we could find in here to do. Let's try this gold. Ooh. We'll do a gold for the next layer. And we're just going to take it across. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like much. But yeah. And again, these were not made to be used on a piece of paper. <laughs> but I thought this would be such a pretty little drawing to color. I love all the little sections it has. It's so much fun. And we just go across these little diamonds right here. This is going to add a little bit of sparkle to it, just like that little sparkly layer. It's going to add a little bit more sparkle to it. Very nice. Nothing wrong with a little bit of sparkle every now and then. I love sparkle. I do. My hairdresser and I get along great because we both love sparkly things. Oh, we do. Oh my gosh. She recently redid the floor, the floor in her garage with this epoxy. I don't know if you've ever seen any of these epoxy floors that people do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It has so much gold and purple glitter in it and it's just like swirled in it. Oh, it's beautiful. Ooh, I wish I had a floor to do that too. I don't have a garage. That would be so cool. It's beautiful. And she did it herself because she's she's so handy. She's so good at doing things. It's gorgeous. I'm going to set these up here. So now you can see that we have a little bit more shine going around this greenish brownish or this sorry this greenish tealish color a little bit more shine now let's do let's do a darker color I want to do perhaps we'll try one of these oh let's try the um this fuchsia this is one of my favorite colors right here this fuchsia oh it's great let's do this one And we're just going to take that fuchsia across these little diamond shapes right here. Just across here. I'm really feeling that one in. This is a matte eyeshadow. The color is just so neat though. I love this color. This palette is so cool. I use it year round. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, usually it comes, if I'm wearing eyeshadow, it's from this one or the bluish looking palette most of the time. Don't knock it till you try it. I've learned that in life. You know, if you haven't tried something, you may not know what you're missing. That applies to a lot of things. I know my mom used to love to make banana sandwiches, and I thought that looked so gross. What are you doing? That's nasty. And she said, don't knock it till you try it. Have you tried it? I said, no. Well, then don't knock it till you try it. So I, I tried one. She let me try a bite, and oh my gosh, it's actually really good. You can make them with peanut butter. I think Elvis ate them that way. Sometimes she wouldn't even put any peanut butter on it. She'd just slice up a banana and, you know, put it on two pieces of bread. And just eat it like that. I think the first one I tried was like that. It was just slices of banana between two pieces of bread like wheat bread or something. I remember she used to really like this bread. It was called Roman meal wheat bread. I think Marita made it. Yeah, 
it might have been that. But I tried it and I said, oh, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> it's not bad. So I stopped saying it was gross. <laughs> and every now and then I'd even make one for myself. There we go. We're coming on around with our fuchsia. Look at that. so soft but this is another color on your eyes that you have to be careful because it's quite powerful it's quite pigmented some of these aren't some of these are more subdued I guess they're more like a pastel but some of these darker ones this one looks like it would be super dark but it's actually not it's actually pretty weak but some of these, wow. I keep coming back to these palettes. I have yet to find another one. I don't care how much it costs. I have yet to find another one that I like as much as I like these. And I like the size, too. Like, you, you know, they're very small. You can hold them. Like, they're the size of a smartphone, basically. Very easy to hold. I don't like the, you know, like the great big palettes. They take up a lot of space and... I don't like them, but these are such a nice size, and I just stack them up on, you know, one on top of the other, and they don't take up a lot of room. I like them. Let's do, let's do this blue. That's right here. Let me get a little swab. Okay. Yeah, I, I have well, maybe it's on the thing. No, I thought, th I have no idea. I've had these for quite a while, but I don't remember who made them. We're gonna get these little diamonds right here. Right here. That's a nice color, I like it. coverage of this color is very nice. So we have this nice blue. I'm trying to remember when I was allowed to wear makeup. I don't think I was allowed to really wear makeup. and I was allowed to wear it, I think, at 15. I could wear some. I couldn't wear a whole lot, but I could wear a little bit of, you know, like powder and eyeshadow. So, I know I was in high school. Maybe it was 16. It might have been 16. I don't remember. I do know that before that I could wear it for picture day. But as far as wearing it every day, I think I had I think when I was 16, she allowed me to start wearing it. My mom. There we go. I remember I used to complain that, you know, other, other kids are already wearing makeup. Other kids are doing this, other kids are doing that, and she'd just say, those aren't my kids. I'm not in charge of them. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> that argument did not work with her. <laughs> but you know, since I have, since I had kids myself, I get it now, because I've had to have the same conversation with my kids. But so-and-so gets to do that, I'm like, well, that's not my kid. Don't be in such a hurry to grow up. But I, you know, I get it. You see other kids getting to do stuff, and why can't I do it? And sometimes, sometimes the only answer is because I said so. <laughs> sometimes that's just, that's it, because I said so. You can't because I said so. I used to hate that when I was a kid. I would say, that's not fair. And I would always get the same response. Life's not fair. 
Oh, I hated that because I had no comeback for that because I knew it was true. <laughs> oh, it made me angry. Okay, so we've added this nice, this nice blue. Look, I like how they all just kind of seem to come together. Almost like pastels in a way. And then when you hold it in the light at a certain angle, you can see a little bit of shimmer in there. It's super neat. Um, hmm. What should I do for the ends? The ends here. And then we have this part. Let's come back to this one. And see what we can do here. What should we do? How about... This is kind of a metallic. It's kind of a brownish metallic. It's almost like a bronze. getting eyeshadow palettes in these beauty boxes and I just give them away because I mean especially with the LA colors and then this one for some nice shiny stuff I don't really need anything else the Macy's beauty box, but then I got an email that it's running late or something. It's not ready for shipment or I don't know. Anyway, it was supposed to be here already, but I don't know when it's coming now. It's been delayed for some reason. My payment went through. I just, <laughs> they just said it was going to be delayed. Okay. That, I actually like that. And those ends here, they have a little bit of a shimmer. It's not super duper shiny, it's just a little bit of a shimmer. All right, now we have these little parts that come out here. I'm thinking about doing this one a color, these two a color, and these two a color. So we're gonna have three colors in here. What three colors should we do? Well, have I done this yet? I don't remember, honestly. Maybe we did. Let's try my satin taupe in the middle. Love that. I think it's a good color for anybody who has blue eyes. It really makes the blue stand out in my humble opinion. I'm not a makeup person, I just do what I like. Yeah, I've looked around online and tried to find another one of these. I have not been able to find one, but I'm not really worried about it because like I said, there there is one of the colors and one of these LA Colors palettes is close enough. It's basically the same, same color. I tested them side by side and they're, they're close enough, so I'm not super worried about it. It's okay. I'll just use the LA Colors taupe. Plus that way I don't have to buy anything else, which is nice. The coverage is really good. Look at that. It's 
very even. to do more drastic daring colors on either side of this part, this section. Like, ooh, maybe a, um, like a purple. So there we have the Bote Basics Satin Taupe going around in the center, little center section. So if we want to do a purple, all of my purples are in here. We do have this one like I was saying, but it's kind of, it looks like it would be really dark, but it's actually not. This one looks like it would be no big deal, but it's pretty well pigmented. When I use it on my eyelids, now I don't know about this, but we're, we're going to find out. It doesn't look super duper dark. Yeah, it's not super duper dark. But when I use it, it's... Darker. I wonder if this one would do differently on paper. No. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, that one is very disappointing. It looks like it would be super great. I love the way it looks in the palette, but when you apply it, it doesn't look like that. It's disappointing. Oops. There we go. We're just coming on around. That's not quite as bold and daring as I had hoped. It would be. I'm looking at one in this Ciate palette that I sort of want to try for our last section. It's a matte, but I think it will look really, really special. Some of these matte eyeshadows are really, really striking. They can be quite Bold. It doesn't have to be sparkly or shiny to be to to stand out. No, oh, no, not at all. There. Now I know some pipe. Some people like to use different types of applicators with eyeshadow. I prefer the little, the little foam rubber applicators. You can use a brush or whatever you want to do. That's just what I prefer to do. Okay, for our last color. I kind of want to try this one right here. It's kind of a coral color. I sort of want to see what that looks like. So I'm going to turn this applicator over this way. Use this side of it. I've never really used this color, so I was kind of curious to see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that is nice. Ooh, that is pretty. That is a, oh, that is super cool. Look at that. It's a, like a coral. Well, I just said coral, it, and it looks the same on here. I 
can't imagine criticizing someone's makeup because it's not expensive and that is not something I ever anticipated people doing but I made a video rummaging through makeup and I couldn't believe all the people who criticized me for, for my makeup being inexpensive like really? really? I don't know, it's kind of lacking class in my opinion it's just a very rude thing to do just, I don't know but I learned growing up that there are plenty of people who have no problem criticizing you or making fun of you because you don't have nice things yeah, I didn't have nice stuff growing up. My parents didn't drive nice vehicles. I didn't have nice clothes. I just didn't have nice things. Didn't live in a nice house. But I learned a lot. I learned that people can be mean for no reason. But that doesn't mean you have to be. I feel, I feel sorry for them. That you look at people and that's all you see. I feel sorry for people like that and I hope one day they can see better unfortunately glasses won't fix that <laughs> these really do just look like I did these with but I think going through that gives you a level of compassion and empathy as an adult that other people may not have I think it does okay here's our last bit So that's our last segment. Look at this. I really like the combination of colors and that little bit of shine that you have in there. I think it turned out nice. It almost looks like stained glass or something. Very cool. Very nice. And we did that with our three LA Colors palettes. We have this one that's kind of a purple with gray and black. This one, which to me kind of just makes me think of fall. I don't know. These are like fall colors to me. That one. Actually, I don't think we did anything with the blue one. <laughs> I, I think I forgot to do this one. But this is another one I use a lot. It has a lot of great options here. And we did our satin taupe from Bote Basics there these two palettes that I don't know what brand they are but they're pretty great and our Ciate London palette look at that, very cool thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed getting to see this little project today I also hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again really soon.